Good morning. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me. My name is Derek Mitchell. Today is Saturday, January 14th, 2017. You have reached Niagara Edge Health, and uh, my name is Derek Mitchell. And just coming to you to give you a quick update on how I'm doing, and just wanted to say I hope everyone's hanging in there with your um, improvements in the new year. I'm not a big fan of the New Year's resolution term, but just uh, work on yourself, get yourself better, and uh, see how things go in the future. And don't give up, because sometimes you'll stumble, and that's okay. We all have uh, moments where we need to just regroup and get back on the on the plan to be able to be successful at whatever it is, whether it be uh, working on your nutrition and diet, physical fitness, mental fitness. Um, remember that life is all about a journey not necessarily about the destination and if we don't enjoy the time we're here it's a shame and it's not just a, a saying life is a journey it's not just life is a journey it is it's it's what you do in that time that um, you're here that makes a difference um, so make the best of it I'm uh, still working hard at eating properly uh, low carb ketogenic eating so I've been focusing on just eating um, very low carb things like um, basically I'm not feeling like cooking lately so I've been having um, buying cooked chickens from Walmart um, and just uh, splitting them up into two days so half a chicken one day half chicken another one day I uh, had half chicken the one day and then I put uh, chicken in with some vegetables and cooked it up as a stir fry eggs and bacon of course Coffee, of course, you gotta have your coffee, yeah, or I do anyway. I'm not saying it's for everybody. Some people find that it affects their adrenal glands and and causes them to be hyper stimulated. Uh, may not be the best thing for you. It is a stimulant after all, but it works for me. Uh, some uh, water, of course, and um, sweetened liquids. Try to find uh, drinks that have stevia in them. I use stevia as my sweetener if I want a sweetener sometimes it's better if you can stay away from anything sweet um, it does tend to make you crave other things if you do eat sweets mm, what else um, of course some cheese here and there lots of cream heavy cream preferably I've had some table cream really because it's a little more economical that's 18 percent cream I bought some great sour cream the other day that was 18 uh, percent uh, milk fat and it was really thick and absolutely delicious. I had with um, some uh, low carb, uh, well, their hot dog wieners that I had for dinner with them, with sour cream and some cheese, and it was really good. So those are the kind of things that I uh, eat. A lot of eggs, of course, um, just to keep myself uh, feeling satisfied. And I suggest you, you know, work on what works for you. Try to find foods that really fit your situation. Uh, a friend of mine basically uh, told me about a casserole that he makes with um, goodness I can't remember now but just but basically put uh, low carb ingredients in the casserole and just don't put it on bread like you would to make a sandwich and uh, it turns out to be a really good meal maybe lunch dinner or whatever else you choose to have it so when I uh, last had my video I was at a weight of 211.4 after losing over uh, or just about 10 pounds 10.2 pounds and I thought it was great, and uh, I did. It was good. And uh, my focus was uh, maintaining it, because that's over 10 pounds in a week. is not normal weight loss. So I figured, oh, if I can stay around the same weight for the next week or two, then I'll be happy. I'd like to lose, of course. Uh, what happened was uh, I stayed at the same weight for a couple of days, two, three days. Uh, I gained a, a pound um, after eating on certain days. I think it's just fluctuations of the body, uh, water, and that kind of thing. Um, and then again, this morning my weigh in, I was at uh, 209.6 pounds, so down another uh, 1.8 pounds over the last week or so. So happy about my progress, keeping uh, going in the right direction. Uh, the goal was uh, to get to 200 pounds within two months of the beginning of the year, January 2nd, uh, from January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd. March 2nd was sort of around the beginning of March was sort of where I wanted to get to 200 pounds. Hopefully I'll get there well beforehand, but I'm doing well. Eating the way I want and feeling very satisfied as far as the food that I am eating. I hope you're being successful. If you do have any questions about 
Um, this type of eating, ketogenic or low carb, I'm happy to address them. Um, uh, please send me an email at niagaraedge at gmail.com. If you do like this video, please look, click the like button at the bottom. If you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and uh, you'll hear more for me. You'll hear more from me. Boy, it's early. I was up uh, working late last night, so a little, little punchy. All right. I hope everyone has a good weekend. It is a Saturday here in the Niagara region. It's gotten a lot colder. It was a, a nice couple days there earlier in the week, but now it's back to cold. Uh, I wish you well. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.